I say once, I say twice, I say three times, and I could say it a million times. I'm going to let you know that your haters are the best people in the world for you. Yeah, sound crazy? Well, listen to this analogy. Listen to me break it down. Listen to me while I tell you why your haters are your big biggest congratulators yeah number one they don't like you they're not going to be anywhere near you number two they don't keep you in a sense of normalcy when you're in normalcy become complacent number three they will never like anything you do all right so why are they your biggest congratulators because that doesn't seem right It'll push you. It'll fuel you. Yeah. It fuels me. Because let me put it in the context of my life. My haters are my biggest congratulators. Ever since I've known what haters were. And I was young. And finding out who my haters were. Sometimes they're your close friends. Quote unquote close friends. Which are acquaintances. Or something like that. Most of the time they are your family. Yeah you have haters in your family. Believe it or not. You should believe it. Because that's where it stems from first. Yeah. And. Sometimes they're not even people who you believe are your enemies. Sometimes they are people who are right there in your personal space. Giving you critical You know, constructive criticism is what they call it. Critical advice to your being, to what you're trying to do. So let me let you know the first time I met upon my haters, my congratulators. Yeah, when they thought that life got me down, they just kept kicking me, kicking me, kicking me, kicking me around. And I got up, but I got back down. I got up, but I got back down. And it's like... I couldn't fathom the fact that these people are my family members. Wow. So I took myself to the streets. The streets welcomed me. The streets loved me. Yeah. 